You know, and like the beginning of Secret Avengers is like, wow, oh, so we're gonna go help the mask Shang Chi, the master of kung fu. Yeah, I don't want. Who is this? Who is this person? Shang Chi. I mean, I I understand. He's the master of kung fu. He's the mad thing. (laughs) You just answered your own question. (laughs) Stupid. Milk. <laughs> milk 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 hi and welcome to probably comics this is going to be our weekly show called what's in the box what's in the box and um so it's basically what we talk about what was in our pool box this week and then we'll talk about what each of our favorites were so we'll start with tyler yeah this week i uh i bought green lantern number two uh grifter number two resurrection man number two Superboy number two Ultimate Comics, Spider-Man number three, Uncanny X-Force number 16, and X-Men Regenesis number one. Uh, so I bought Uncanny X-Force 16, Amazing Spider-Man 671, X-Men Regenesis, and Grifter 2. Um, I also bought Uncanny X-Force number 16, uh, Fear Itself Ghost Rider number four, Fear Itself Hulk versus Dracula number four, don't, ju- er, yeah, three of three, don't judge me. Uh, uh, Superboy number two, um, Green Lantern number two, um, the New Avengers number seventeen, and X Men Regenesis. Which so we is all we all love X Men Regenesis. Yes, we loved it. Um, it so was so cute. Let's do let's do this. Let's do uh, your favorite, and then do your biggest disappointment of the week if you had one. Okay, that's a good way to do yeah, it, right? What what was it that let you down? Yeah, like I think we're all every every one of the books that we bought is worth buying, or we wouldn't have bought them. Indeed. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, but well, there might be one that you which would one suggest one you fave. wouldn't buy. Like, if there was one that you would suggest nobody buy, like, you know, Hulk versus Dracula. Well, yeah, I just, <laughs> again, bought it for because it's part of the you're such a, You're such a Marvel zombie. <laughs> <laughs> you truly yuck, 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 yuck. That was a term before the comics, but whatever. So, Tyler, what what uh, what was your favorite and what was your biggest disappointment? My favorite comic this week was Ultimate Spider-Man number three. Uh, it's it's Bendis, the best Spider-Man writer ever, and uh, we still haven't seen Miles in the costume yet. We're we're still like building up to that, like he did when he originally wrote Ultimate Spider-Man. But now we're at the point where um, he's discovering that he has spider powers, but he doesn't want them. And the end of the book ends with Peter Parker having been shot. Uh, are you hearing that Peter Parker having had been shot? Um, from a newscast uh, so that we're getting to this point where Miles is becoming the Spider-Man and it'll eventually get to where it was during the death of Peter Parker where he shows up um, right. and, and is, is Spider-Man. Um, it's very, very good. It's still really well written. Very Great art. I, I loved it. I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. I can't wait for the next one, which is in two weeks, November 9th, something, something like, like that. that. Um, biggest disappointment? <sighs> this is a toss-up. Big toss up. The two number two. There's a, there are several number twos that have been not as good from the DC New Fifty Two. Several number twos that have like been like. Mm. But this week we got two Grifter and Resurrection Man. Both of them were okay, but nowhere near as good as number one and uh, how good they should have been. Both of them kind of like introduced these storylines that they don't explain they just expect you to come back for number three so you can get the explanation and i'm not i'm not I don't like that on, on number two you should you should just be doing exposition um for at least of the first story arc where you're not where you're not confusing anybody um especially because these books are so hard it's so hard to find a number one of grifter especially like even the reprint was almost sold out when i went mm-hmm. um so you can't and you can't pick either of these books up and and understand what's going on um, so I mean, but they they were. I'm gonna keep reading them both right now. Resurrection Man's on notice. It, it will be, it'll be the next thing that gets cut from my pull list if it doesn't pick up. But it's pre- it's pretty good. But they were both like both disappointing. Well, I remember last time you really went out on a limb for both of those books. Resurrection like, Man one's so good. Yeah. Like the pl- the premise is just really cool, and like the villains that he's fighting are really cool. But now we've got two new villains and they don't explain where they came from. They just kind of expect. I'm not sure. I've never read Resurrection Man, so I'm not sure if I've missed something. Like if maybe these are canon villains and I don't know who they are. But that's the whole point of the new 52. Right, is that you can just jump in. Right. So that's so they've failed at it. If that's the case, they've totally failed. So I'm, I'm waiting for number three. We'll see what happens next month. Okay. Um, my fave was X Force number 16. 
uh, part six of the Dark Angel saga. Um, I'm a Remender freak. I love Rick Remender. Um, But it was cool to see uh, Deadpool a little more focal. Um, I think I think Remender doesn't really write a whole lot for Deadpool, and I think this issue you really got him more. I think this is the last issue, but um, but I, I I'm a big Deadpool fan. I like Deadpool, and so I liked that aspect of it. I'm really digging where the story is going. It wasn't as action packed as I probably would have liked. I know that sounds odd considering most of the the book is like a giant battle against like evil Bobby Drake, but um, I, I thought Deadpool it. fighting Blob was killer. Yeah, favorite favorite moment of the book. Although there was kind of like a uh, Deus Ex Machina there. Yeah, a little bit. Um, but I'd say biggest disappointment of the week was Grifter Two. Um, mm. No idea what the fuck's going on in that book. I have absolutely no idea nope. what's happening. Um, Grifter 1 seemed really cool. Grifter 2 seemed like I'm supposed to know what's going on and I don't. Right. And so I'm going to pick up number 3. I'm, I'm with you on this one. If number 3 doesn't pick up and doesn't answer some questions, I'm gone, man. Yeah. Like, you've lost me as a reader and I'm I'm just going to keep reading Swamp Thing and Animal Man. Can I say something DC real goes. quick about X-Men Uncanny X-Force? What? Anyway, I, I thought that, like... the. The synopsis they put out on the internet was like the fate of the world is resting on Deadpool's shoulder. I did not, I didn't get it. Like, didn't you feel like it was like he he yeah he was a character. He in was it. there. Yeah, but they didn't like it. Wasn't like a big deal that he was in any well, of the fights. Well, because Wolfie in. came back. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. And you then, know, like Wolfie Wolfie came and saved the day as per usual. Um, Deadpool may as well be dead in a pool. Uh-huh. I think he's 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 part of Bobby Drake now. Yeah, I think he's been absorbed in Bobby Drake, but that's beside the point. Link, um, how about you? Uh, favorite and biggest disappointment? Uh, my favorite for this week is Green Lantern number two. Um, uh, I really like. Somebody had to say it. Well, you know, uh, it's, it's fucking so good. It's good. It, yeah, it's and it's it's good because you really start you you feel for how really just because Sinestro is such a Dick. And how, yeah, and how and shitty basically, Hal Jordan's life is. Yeah, and basically what's <laughs> happened is that Hal Jordan has been decommissioned as a lantern, and Sinestro has his ring. And Sinestro, in the last issue, walks up and is like, hey, you want your ring back? I got a ring for you. You want your ring back? And Hal's like, yes, of course. You know, And he kind of uh, says, you know, I'll do anything. And Sinestro makes a light construct ring out of his ring for Hal. And Hal puts it on, or he puts it on Hal. And so he, it's, it's almost like a, like, B Sinestro, the Green Sinestro. Yeah, but know, like, but that also like shows you how powerful Sinestro is yeah. as a Green Lantern that he can just make a ring that's yeah. like he controls now. And so he, yeah, and so Hal has all his powers except for anything Sinestro doesn't want him to do. Yeah, like Sinestro right. can just turn his ring off. And so there's a there's a point where there's you know people are dying, you know, falling off of a bridge, and Hal's you know Sinestro cuts the ring off. Yeah, and he's like. You know, let me like he's screaming, he's losing it. Let me help these people, and so you know, I've, uh, I'm hoping eventually that Hal will have a full on ring, and you know, and I'm I'm sure that's the case, um, but also you know, it it's gonna push because at the end of the the book, the the Sinestro Corps come after Sinestro because he's a traitor. Yeah, as a mm-hmm. Green Lantern, he's a traitor. And they to, took to they've taken over his home world, right? Yeah, yeah, they have uh, enslaved Korg. And so he was like the the whole thing is that Sinestro is in, enlisting Hal Jordan to come back with him to Korg to save to, Korg to destroy the Sinestro Corps and then he'll give him his ring back. Cuz he doesn't well, want to be he do, well, he didn't say that exactly, but he doesn't want to be a Green Lantern. Uh, I I would assume not. It's he doesn't seem like someone. Ooh, you. it's good. Jeff um, Johns and my my biggest disappointment of the week is a toss up between uh, the the two fear itself that I just kind of had to buy because they were fear itself and I have bought in so I'm in for the long haul. Uh, <laughs> they one got of the, you. One of which <laughs> no, they, they got, got you. me. No, they got me. And Pan- I hope Pan- I hope that we get more listenership just for people wanting to laugh at my ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> like what an asshole! All the synopsis um, of all the podcasts are going to be like, and Link is still reading Fear yeah, itself. Yeah, Link is still reading every single <laughs> yeah. Fear itself, and including so, uh, much Hulk money. versus yeah, Dracula. Yeah, but that yeah, they were. It was uh, Fear itself, Ghost Rider, which is the lesser of the two evils. Um, it's kind of a neat thing that's happening. There's a female ghost rider, um, and she's being controlled by uh, Adam, the first man, which that's something I'd like to talk about in a discussion, how Marvel is really good at tying in mythologies of other people, whether it's 
the Norse mythos. That's why I don't like it. Yeah. But I mean, to each his own. I mean, but I think it's just kind of fun that like every almost every mythological creature ever or <laughs> yeah. or character has a Marvel counterpart, True. and that includes. Adam, the first man in the Christian mythology, uh, is uh, Eve the first woman on there anywhere? Uh, she's not, but I, I expected her to mm. to show up. And then there was Fear itself, uh, Hulk versus Dracula, which was yeah. yeah, yeah. Why? Why? It sounds yeah. like Why? The, the worst episode of True Blood ever. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, man, True Blood kicks this shit's ass. Man, that's like <laughs> what? Yeah, no, seriously, it's it's just that not good. The only the only. <laughs> <laughs> the only, the only good thing, the only good thing that happened is that Hulk smashed his hammer. So that's yeah. part that's you know, important. So, so that's yeah, good. It's, it, it, they made you read it because yeah, that's yeah. going to be an important event. And th- and that's what they're doing. You know, like the fear itself. The main run is all. Breathe deep for me and let me talk. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Holy, <laughs> True Blood. It's so bad. True Blood is better than this. What do you want? I want the soda, Daddy. This Daddy wants soda. Dude, that's just the fun. That's the line of the podcast. True Blood is True Blood. This is so bad that True Blood is better than it is. <laughs> I am I am an avid True Blood watcher. Though. I, I'm sorry. Would never guessed it. So many, so many attractive women. So uh, true with bad, Hulk. Bats of the night. We'll cut all this out. Yeah, we'll cut. Oh, of course. This but, all um, but Hulk versus Dracula. Hulk versus Dracula weak because everything else in my list was so strong. Green Lantern awesome. X Force awesome. I'm really good at picking comic books. If you haven't. Um, no, no. Yeah, except for you except must for, read Fear yeah. Itself. Uh, New Avengers, cool because Norman Osborn's coming back. But Superboy, so, yeah. Super so wait, Boy, is is great. is like the Hammer Initiative coming back? Like all yes. like the, sort he of like bring, Dark it's, Avengers. It's thing? not. It's not the Hammer Initiative. It's his because it's they're not government. It's mm. not the U.S. government. This is Hammer. I think the is. next. I think in the next discussion show, I want to talk. I want you to lay down Avengers um, canon for me. Thanks for listening to What's in the Box this week. Um, Tune in next week for the next episode of What's in the Box. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm Thomas. You can follow me at Uncanny Tom. That's T-H-O-M. And I'm Tyler. You can follow me at D-T Mills. And I'm Link. You can follow me on Twitter at LinkZ2. If you want to follow the show, you can follow it on Twitter at at ProbablyComics or check us out at ProbablyComics.com. Thanks, y'all.